I paid almost ten dollars for these two balls. That's what she or said. Maybe rich people don't eat ranch. Rich people don't eat ranch. I don't ranch. know. Hey guys, it's YB. And Yabia. Today we have a rather expensive but not that much food. It's <laughs> never a good combination. It's never a good combination. Expensive but not much food. But we had to try it because I was so curious. We have food from Erwan. Air one. So if you're not from California, you might not know. This is a luxury supermarket. So it's like, I like to describe it to Herbert. It's the Whole Foods for rich people. It is literally branded as a luxury supermarket. So they have all organic groceries and these kind of little foods that you can take for lunch. Uh, but they are quite expensive. For example, this smoothie, it's very pretty. That's why I got it. This smoothie alone is $20. For all of this food combined here, I spent about $110. Before we go in, let me quickly give you the history of Erwan and what makes it so expensive. I've heard people talk about this a lot in California and when we watched Bling Empire, <laughs> they also talked about going to Erwan. Erwan Market, pronounced Erwan, is a California luxury supermarket chain with seven locations, all in Los Angeles County. Erwan focuses on niche, locally produced organic foods catering to a wealthy clientele and offering foods appealing to raw, vegan, keto, kosher, and other alternative diets. You know, when I first heard Erwan, I thought it was a Korean market because it kind of sounds Korean, Erwan. So I was like, oh, a new Korean market? It opened. Why is everyone talking about it? Do you know why it's named Aaron? Yeah, well, yes, I do. <laughs> it's nowhere spelled backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going nowhere to eat fancy, wealthy supermarket food. Organic food is always good. We don't eat that much like super organic, super clean food. So maybe it's good to try it out. Always good to try new things. Lily. So the first one is Erwin's Coconut Cloud Smoothie. As you can see, it is very pretty. It's blue and it looks like cloud. It is pretty, yeah. It's made with milk, almond milk, pineapple, banana, avocado, almond butter, vanilla collagen, vanilla stevia, blue magics, and coconut cream. I only ordered one because it was too expensive. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to spend $40 on two smoothies. Nah, okay, let me try it first. It is good. It's a mixture of a lot of flavors. I taste the avocado. I taste the pineapple and banana. It's pretty nice. Right? It is good. And I mean, I think it sells for the blue magics, right? <laughs> the, I mean, you know, the picture. Well, I would finish the whole thing. It is very good. It's not bad. If I really needed that Instagram photo, maybe I'll go and buy the smoothie. But on a normal day, probably not. Okay, so for every food, let's do a worth it, not worth it. Do you think that is worth it? Not worth it. Not worth it? I would do half worth it. Because it tastes half really... Half worth it is not worth it. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Oh, well, that's really cute. That okay. means you, you quoted $10. That's... Well, okay, I would pay 15 for this. All right, so we've decided that it's basically not worth $20. Next one is the Buffalo Cauliflower. Buffalo Cauliflower. So we've had Buffalo Cauliflower before. They're very good. They're the alternative to Buffalo Wings. It usually comes with ranch. I don't see any ranch here right now, so... Maybe rich people don't eat ranch. Rich people don't eat I don't ranch. know. Maybe you have to buy Erwin Ranch. So it's Buffalo Cauliflower made with organic cauliflower. Organic rice flour. Hot sauce that's made with other organic stuff. That's what it says. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It just keeps going because... Oh, it seems to be organic. Yeah, so. it's very organic. So this is $12, which is not the worst, but the, for the amount of food, I mean, it's not that big. <laughs> Honestly, I don't taste a difference between this and any other buffalo cauliflower. If you were going to a restaurant and, you know, you order this as an appetizer usually, it usually comes out $12, right? I would say anywhere between eight to eight to fifteen dollars. Yeah. So, so worth it or not worth it? I would say worth it. I'm always gonna say to everyone today, not worth it. Not worth it for twelve dollars. But it's it's um, more worth it compared to the smoothie. Smoothie. Okay. 
Agreed. Hey guys, before we continue, let me quickly go over Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning. If you have a specific skill that you want to learn, but you want to learn from home rather than going anywhere in person, Skillshare is perfect for you. There are so many different classes you can choose from, anywhere from animation, film and video, and graphic design, all the way to lifestyle, productivity, marketing, leadership, and management. Now Skillshare was very useful to me because I am a professional video editor. I usually edit my videos on Premiere, but recently I had a project that I had to work on Avid, which is a whole different editing program. I searched Avid and I was able to find a class called Avid Edit Like a Pro and learn all the shortcuts that made editing way easier. Now, the first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up through my link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So use my link down below to check out Skillshare and now back to the video. So this one is even cheaper. It is $8. Japanese sweet potato, organic extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and organic black pepper. That's already peeled for you. Nice. I mean, better. I'm paying $8 for this. Mmm. Mm. I used to get sweet potatoes from Ralph's and cook it just like this. It's really okay, easy. It's very good. Yeah, I think at Ralph's you could get like three, four of the sweet, like the big sweet potatoes that are like this big for about eight dollars. This is probably less than one potato, even maybe just one sweet potato. Well, it's already made. But, yeah, but it's so, it's so easy to make though. You put that in the oven, or if you're really in a hurry, you can even microwave it. But let's say you go from, from work to get lunch, mm. and you don't have necessarily an oven. I guess it's kind of the client here, like grab and go and eat. Mm. We would say not worth it. Well, if they add a few more potatoes, yes, yeah, worth it. How many more? Two to four. Two pieces? Yeah. I know how to make this, and it's so easy, and it's so much cheaper at Ralph's. So I'm gonna say not worth it. <laughs> but it's good, and like you said, it's great for grab and go kind of thing. Well, the funny thing is, we watched you on Netflix, and I'm sure a lot of you watched you as well. It's a great show, and when they're in LA, they have this supermarket called Eneverin and they if they basically making fun of LA culture and like the high-end supermarkets and how Eneverin's a Nirvana spelled backwards. I feel like they're making fun of Erwin. Kinda. Well now it's I still perfect. based on because Nirvana is nothing as well. Yeah. And oh nowhere. true. So they did make like fun of Erwin. Like nothing like going in the eternity or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, there, there's the reference right there. We have rice balls. <laughs> rice balls? Rice balls. Wait, four pieces? I only got two. <gasps> they scammed me. They only gave me two rice balls and I paid $9.75 for these. These are vegan rice balls, four pieces. <laughs> organic brown rice balls, organic onion, organic spinach, vegan cheese, oh, vegan cheese, organic basil, organic parsley, organic garlic. At the end of the day, it's just a rice ball. It's organic. I paid almost ten dollars for these two balls. It's supposed to be That's what four. Nope. They're so bland. So it's fried on the outside and I don't know what's in the inside. Some vegan cheese, I guess, with the organic blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm used to Korean rice balls that are made with seaweed. So it has a saltiness already in there. There's nothing salty in here. So it's very bland. It's just eating rice with cheese. But it's not worth it. Mm -mm. Even if they gave me four balls, not worth it. Okay, so now we got the big stuff. We got a burrito. Ah. A cilantro lime chicken burrito, organic rotisserie chicken, organic jack cheese, organic cilantro brown rice, organic roasted tomato salsa, organic, oh, it's a tongue twister, organic avocado, and organic pico de gallo. $17 for this burrito. Cheers. The chicken is good. The avocado is really amazing. I don't know if the organic part makes it super great. How is this compared to like a chipotle burrito? Mm, it's a good burrito. Yeah, it's a good burrito. But also like a chipotle burrito. Mm. I will get this for a meal. Chipotle raised price too. Like how much is a burrito there now? 15? 14, 15, yeah. Worth it. <laughs> As I'm finishing the burrito, let's move on to the sushi. Tuna and salmon. Wild. With of course, wow. of course with organic brown rice. This one is 21. 
from twenty one dollars, I would like to be satisfied after mm. that, and I, I can't see that. Yeah. We do have some organic soy sauce. <laughs> organic? Is it organic? Really? They asked me, do I want soy sauce? And how many packets? And I got the max three because I was like, if I'm paying twenty one, I want all the free stuff. And I asked for a chapstick as well, and they gave me a chapstick that says Erwin on it. They oh, come. okay, but how fancy! Look at that. It's like fully three D wooden. Chapstick. It almost looks like the one we have. I mean, it's not like the flat, cheap ones. Okay. So they gave me a nice, mm, good quality. <laughs> with brown rice. I don't think I've had sushi with brown rice before. Brown rice? Yeah. Sweet, right? Organic brown rice. Cheers. The fish is really soft to the point I don't taste it. <laughs> the rice is weird. I don't like the rice, but the fish I think is good, but I can't tell. And the soy sauce, I don't taste anything either. Is it it's not salty enough? It doesn't like hit me too hard. I think the fish is good, but the rice is ruining it. I'm gonna try just the fish. Like a sashimi. Fish is actually good quality, but this rice, this thick ass lump of rice, it's not sushi rice. And it doesn't go well, it just overpowers the fish. Yeah, I mean, even Walgreens sushi tastes better than this, I think, in, in my opinion. Same, not worth it. But the sashimi might be good. Now we've gotten to desserts. I got the New York cheesecake that is of course made with organic cream cheese, organic eggs. And then I got a vegan chocolate blackout cake. So the New York cheesecake is $9, while the chocolate cake is $12. All right, $9 cheesecake. 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 <laughs> it's good. That's pretty good. I like Cheesecake Factory better. Yeah, well, that's that's the problem. We had Cheesecake Factory and that's bomb. It, it tastes a little healthier, I gotta say that. It does, it's less sweeter. I'm gonna say not worth it. How much is it in Cheesecake Factory? I don't know actually. It's about the same, huh? Not worth it, oh. but. But? Not bad, not bad. All right. Not far away. Okay. Okay. I'm excited for this one because I love chocolate cake. Cheers. It's bitter. What? The dark chocolate. It's huh? a bit more healthy, yeah. $12. Worth it, not worth no, it. Not worth it. Same, not worth it. The cheesecake is more worth it than the chocolate thing. Yeah? Do you get the hype of Erwin? <laughs> Well, I don't think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Let's say there's Erwin and there's restaurants. I can see myself going to Erwin and eating because the foods are grab grab and go it's quick. faster and it's about the same price. Yeah, and the food quality is really good. But okay, that was very interesting to try. So if you guys live in California and if there's an Erwin nearby... If you want to go nowhere... If you want to go nowhere... Erwin... <laughs> yeah. Erwin, go to nowhere... Yeah. Alright, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!